Yo, what's goody boys? I'm at the pool right now, it's Sunday. Just a day to get ahead of everyone, you know what I mean? Come on boys, we gotta be grinding this shit out. I'm about to show you guys my um, my weekly analysis though. What I think is gonna happen this week, if it happens, it does. If it doesn't, we reevaluate our um, bias. Yeah, there's some baddies at this pool right now. Like, I need to lock in. Lock in, lock in. I keep staring. But, yeah, we are going to show you our weekly bias. On the S&P right here. As you can see, hold on, give me a second. As you can see, we took out all-time highs and had a big flush to the downside. We did hold below this low right here. As you can see, so what does that mean right here? Bang, we made a low. Did we break that? Yes, we had a candle closure below it. That's a break of structure to the downside. So, if you go like on the daily or the four hour, there is a small imbalance right here. You can't really see it, but there's a small imbalance that wants to be filled. Or we could even come down here and fill this imbalance to go higher or to go lower. Whatever we see, whatever happens, you know what I mean? I don't fucking predict these markets. I'm not a wizard. Wish I was, but also... We have a big level right here, as you can see. On the daily, we came up, rejected. Came up right here, rejected. So what is this? This is a huge level right here. This is a support level. Or a resistance, I'm retarded. This is a resistance level right here. So what will happen? We can mark this out. This is just a shitty drawing, but as you see, we marked this out. I'm thinking maybe on the daily, it's not going to happen Monday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, but we come in, fill this imbalance right here to either go to the upside or we break down even more but what i'll be looking at is for calls in this area right here because this resistance will turn into support to go higher as well as an imbalance so that's just two confluences for us to go higher um and we've just been trending up so that's even a more better confluence so what i would be looking for is like say we go down to the four hour all the way down here is where we were just looking at on the daily. Look, this is a big level right here. Came up, rejected. Came up, rejected. Came up, rejected. Just like all oh, these girls at the club last night. I came up, and I got rejected. Psych. I was pulling, but... All right, we, we'll probably come down into... Look, on the hourly... Or is it... Yeah, this is the four hour. Four hour. We have an imbalance right here. So we could possibly come down, wick this, hold in this fair value gap, and then what I would be looking for is a liquidity sweep... Obviously, a market structure shift to the upside, which a break of structure, that's what it's called. And then a retracement to go higher, and then we would target liquidity, obviously, wherever it is, up here, somewhere. But, yeah, we could possibly retrace into these fair value gaps down here and this level right here. Or we can, on the four hour, simply just come into, like, any... Of these fair value gaps because obviously you could see obviously sorry i'm like a sped right now i can't talk that was fucked up i shouldn't have said that all right well we're in a fair value gap still right here bang do we disrespect it no we're still rejecting or we're still delivering off of this fair value gap so what could we do we could simply i marked out these lows so all these black lines are lows we could easily take this liquidity this liquidity this liquidity look look on the one hour all these lows right here, these prominent lows, we could easily take that out to go higher. So it's either we look for these lows to get taken out and then a good confluence to go higher. Or if we see a fucking dump right off the start, bang, come all the way down here. And like I said, this might not happen Monday. It might happen Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, any of them days. Club going up on a Tuesday. You guys remember that song? Damn, brings back memories. I think I have ADHD or something, bro. I'd just be talking to myself, but yeah. It's either we come down here to go higher, come down here to go lower. We'll see what uh, price gives us, but yeah, boys, that um, that is my bias. I probably was just yapping your ear off, but I'm at the pool right now. It's pretty nice, as you guys can see. Oh, this looks gay as hell. Am I leg out like that? Oh, shit. Sorry for that, but yes, sir. That was our bias. Follow me on TikTok for more content. Instagram. Um, you can join my free Discord if you guys would like. 
be a signal bot. Joking, bro. Do not come in my Discord just to take signals. Um, if you want to actually learn, we can learn together. My Discord is for networking, learning, just progressing as a trader. I'm not the greatest trader in the world yet. I will be, 100%. Give me like three to six months, bro. But I made my Discord just to learn with each other, to really make sure everyone's disciplined, everyone's good in, good like good mental health. We have a gym section in there, you know what I mean? We have just a trading chat, just to talk and just network with people. It's it's a great community, man. I just started it up. We already have 100 members so far. Once we get to like 500 to 1,000 members and I um, start getting real profitable, I'm not going to make it paid just yet, but... um. I'm definitely going to make it private. I don't want just a bunch of random people in there. I want it to be a ton of traders that are actually serious on learning. So, yeah, boys, sorry for trying your ear off. If you like that Daily Bias video, give me a like. Um, go follow me on Instagram, like I said. See you, boys, this week. Join my Discord. Don't be weird and gay.